When you run a membership site, it's critical to make sure that your members' interaction with your website is as seamless and hassle-free as possible. Now, no matter how great your content is, if your members have to hunt for the information that should be readily available to them, it's just going to result in bad user experience and unhappy customers. If your members are required to log in to access premium content on your site, then make the login form easily accessible from every page so your members can spend their valuable time accessing the content rather than looking for a place to log in. The most noticeable place for login and logout links is your website's navigation menu or the header area of your website. In fact, it's even better to show the login form in your site's header section so that your users can just enter their credentials and log in from right there. Sure, you can add a login link to your navbar, but it will always show as login even if the user is already logged in and you don't want that. Hi, my name is Veena Prashant and I'm very happy to announce the release of the new DAP header login plugin. The DAP header login plugin will allow you to show a login link or a login form to your website visitors. It will automatically detect if the user is logged in and change the login form to a logout button. And it can also change the login link to a logout link for logged in members. The DAP header login plugin will allow you to show a login form in your website's header section, show a login logout link in your nav bar, and if you have multiple nav bars, you can select the nav bar where you want the login link to display. It will allow you to easily create a customized membership login form and display it in the header section of your website. It has a built-in style manager that will allow you to style various aspects of the login form. The DAP header login plugin is really easy to use and set up. Now I'll take you behind the scenes to show you the DAP login form and the login link in action on a few DAP customer sites. Now here is the DAP customer site. You will notice a DAP header login form right here and it is being generated by the DAP header login plugin. Now here I have entered my email and password and when I click on login, you will notice that the login form will be replaced by a logout button. Now here's another customer site where header login plugin is active. You will notice a login form in the header section of the site. You will also notice a login link in the nav bar. However, this is not the primary nav bar on the site. The primary nav bar is here. So not only does the header login plugin allow you to display a login link in your menu, you can also configure where exactly you want the login link to display if you have multiple nav bars. Now, if you're looking for instructions on how to install and how to set up the header login plugin, be sure to watch the next video where I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how to install and how to set up the DAP header login plugin. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.